These are the Mercedes Digital Light headlamps. And just wait until you see the nighttime drive on this thing. It is out of this world. So here's the range readout. And here's where we put the washer fluid because they don't want us opening the hood. Normally, the hood release is here, but they've actually bolted that shut because they don't want us going under there. And here's where we plug in the charging cable. And look at these fluffy headrest pillows. There's a big head-up display floating right there, probably the biggest I've ever seen. And speaking of the biggest I've ever seen, take a look at the size of this display. It's virtually the entire dashboard. The Mercedes EQS 580 SUV puts all-electric driving right where many SUV shoppers these days are looking for it. In a flexible, spacious, and four-wheel drive-equipped model with room for seven that's brimming with the latest safety and connectivity tech. This is the first all-electric Mercedes SUV, and this version is powered by a pair of highly responsive electric motors, one between the front wheels and one between the rear. Those are fed by a battery pack that's mounted low and wide in the floor. Drivers get 536 horsepower and 633 pounds of torque, delivered seamlessly to all four wheels. With the ability of the electric motors to adjust power delivery on a wheel-by-wheel -wheel basis over 160 times per second, this all-electric version of 4MATIC all-wheel drive is, therefore, much smoother, more efficient, and faster acting than a mechanical system, which is constrained by multiple moving parts, clutches, gear sets, and drive shafts. Standard rear wheel steering works aggressively at low speeds, turning the rear wheels in the opposite direction to the front to shrink the EQS's turning circle. Instead of feeling the vehicle's nose turn while the rear end is dragged behind, you'll actually feel this machine rotating beneath you during low speed turns and while parking. Here it feels like a much smaller machine and only tiny steering wheel inputs are required to turn around sharp corners or enter parking spaces. U-turns and three-point turns on narrow streets or sneaking into narrow parking spots are handled with no second guessing. I can't stress enough, given the size of the EQS 580 SUV, how hilariously maneuverable it is. You'll enjoy this extra help with maneuverability on the daily. There are various ways to preheat the cabin for your arrival. I preferred to use the on-screen climate menu to tell the EQS when I'd be returning, setting a date and time for it to have my cabin, and selected seats toasty warm. I especially appreciated this at the gym, where I could tell the EQS to have its interior preconditioned for me when I returned from a workout. Whether or not you're connected to a charger, you just tell the car when you're returning and how warm you'd like the interior to be, and it handles the rest for you. That's another benefit of all-electric driving since it's much less expensive, quicker, and more convenient to pre-warm your interior using electricity than it is idling a gas engine. And in summertime, the cabin and seats can be pre-cooled too. So how does the winter affect the EQS 580 SUV's range? My tester's rated range of 459 kilometers at room temperature fell to a comfortable 315 based on my driving style and situation, mostly highway cruising at a good clip, around the freezing mark with a heavy foot, sport mode on, and plentiful use of the heater. So without even trying to conserve energy, enthusiast drivers can therefore expect over 300 kilometers of range around the freezing mark, which I'd expect to drop to about 260 by 20 below and remain over 200 at 40 below. On a level 2 charger in your driveway or garage, the EQS can be recharged in full in your driveway overnight even on the coldest nights of the year. In motion, the EQS 580 SUV does a lot of things spectacularly well, though the drive did leave me disappointed in a few specific areas. Those don't include the performance or the all-wheel drive traction and grip. The acceleration is fierce, with full throttle rocketing the EQS 580 off the line from 0 to 60 in about 4.5 seconds. That's performance car acceleration with loads of four-wheel grip for fun in the snow. If an EQS 580 SUV will be your first EV driving experience, you probably won't believe the throttle response. Same goes for the all-wheel drive system and winter driving traction. With conventional all-wheel drive, there are a few specific situations where even a very talented system can struggle to smoothly and effectively put power down in the snow. Some systems can bind, slip, scrub, or lurch when transitioning between traction levels during acceleration, and accelerating while cornering over a split traction surface from a stop can cause spinning and lurching and grabbing, all dramatic at times. Partly, that's because there's an awful lot of momentum behind a spinning wheel in a conventional all-wheel drive system. They're connected to an engine and crankshaft and transmission and differentials that are all spinning too. 
so a tremendous amount of rotating momentum built up behind those spinning wheels means that reducing the speed of one or more of those suddenly requires a fight, as engine power needs to be cut, brakes may need to be applied, and clutches within the system grab and release as power is shuffled around. In an electric vehicle like this one, precise wheel speed control presents much less of a fight. Without all of that rotating mass and momentum built up behind a spinning wheel, and with the direct drive characteristic of the electric motors, and their ability to adjust power output much more quickly and precisely than a gasoline engine, there's virtually none of the drama. So from the driver's seat, the EQS 580 SUV just grips and glides over the sort of challenging winter driving traction situations that can cause harshness from the all-wheel drive system you might be used to. The average driver may not notice, but those with a keen awareness of what's going on beneath their vehicle as they drive in the snow, with the consistently smooth and seamless traction. On the roughest and most badly beaten backroad surfaces I test SUVs on, there's more good news. Here, the EQS demonstrates plenty of well-controlled suspension travel that it's not shy about using. While adaptive shocks help mitigate unwanted body motions to ensure a more stable ride more of the time. That's a more comfortable ride for those on board, and the driver is backed by a nicely isolated steering field too. In all, even on the roughest roads I visit, I found the car comfortable and very easy to control, even if the relatively quiet ride is occasionally interrupted by high levels of suspension noise on some specific surfaces, which can coax the odd knock or clunk from the hardware beneath. All said, the EQS 580 can cover rough ground quickly and comfortably, though you may be hearing from its suspension from time to time. As a highway cruiser, it glides, virtually hovering over smooth roads while keeping cabin noise levels appreciably muted. The feel is heavy and dense, and combined with the gorgeous cabin around you, the EQS 580 SUV encourages you to relax, decompress, and take in the scenery, whether outside or on board. Brakes performed strongly, but the brake pedal feel was my biggest complaint on this test drive. The response from the pedal can often be inconsistent, and there is some dead space at the top of its travel, so the feel from the brake pedal itself failed to deliver the athletic precision and response that enthusiast drivers may like. These brakes do feel more precise and capable when you're working them hard, but for around town and commuter driving, I did leave my tester wishing for a more linear and precise pedal action and more consistent feedback. At times, it can be difficult to work the brakes smoothly, and the pedal area tightens up quickly if you're wearing big winter boots, too. Similar story from the steering, though light and easy to work smoothly, there's no meaningful feel or feedback, and the steering ratio can sometimes feel too quick for the soft suspension calibration. To me, some of the autonomous or automatic steering interventions felt too abrupt or forceful for me at times, so like the brakes, the steering works well but fails to create that precise, feedback-rich feel that many drivers enjoy. I noticed this the most when driving over highway slush stripes. With most cars, you can feel these even slightly through the steering, but not here. So consider this one a comfort-first setup, and ultimately, for a smooth and relaxing drive, even in challenging winter conditions, it pretty much hits the nail on the head. Though enthusiast drivers will love the power output, they may be left wishing for a more finely tuned feel of the other main controls, being the steering and brakes. It's after dark where the driving experience of this machine hit me the hardest, thanks to powerful digital light-equipped headlamps that bend and manipulate light in real time for optimal visibility, while the cabin's extensive use of ambient lighting ignites the forward dashboard and interior panels with an artful use of colored light whose palette can be changed with a simple voice command. This is one of the most dazzling after-dark interiors I've ever visited, and the Burmester stereo system is always on standby to break the silence with rich, powerful audio playback that hits you in the chest. Though you've got better choices when it comes to a feeling of precision and response of the controls, the EQS 580 SUV's consistently comfortable ride, incredible maneuverability, confidence-inspiring winter driving experience, and knockout cabin and featured content are sure to make it a hit with Mercedes fans who've been waiting for an electric SUV. Thank you for watching. My name is Justin Pritchard for Driving.ca. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below so you never miss a new upload. And until next time, take care and drive safe. If you liked this video, we've got plenty more like it, so consider hitting the subscribe button down below so you never miss a new upload, leaving a like if you learned something new. And until next time, take care and drive safe.